So here I'm going to attach a rib cuff to a sleeve, but the method is the same if you're attaching rib on a, a collar or as a welt. So I've joined the rib together using the seam allowance noted on my pattern. And now with my sleeve the right way round and turning my cuff inside out, I'm going to match the seams and the notches and put a pin through at the seam allowance, the stipulated seam allowance. So here it will be one centimetre. So working in sections, you will stretch the rib out until it reaches the same length as the fabric. Walk your fingers into the centre of that section and place your pin and then work in the next quarter. This will ensure that your sleeve is distributed evenly across your ribbing. And this is really a time where you can't use too many pins. Working section at a time until it's all pinned in. This is ready to be stitched in place at the machine. Start at the seam and do a back stitch. And as you approach each pin, remove it before you stitch over it. And you'll just pull out the garment enough to make sure that there are no tucks. So you will pull the cloth so that it's taut. Make sure that your seams remain flat as you approach them. When you've attached the, the rib to the sleeve, you can neaten that seam allowance with a zigzag or an overlock stitch. So now I've turned the sleeve to the right side and I've sent the seam allowance towards the sleeve, so away from the rib. And I'm going to press, press the sleeve ready for the finishing stitch, which will be an edge stitch. It's really important that you use a pressing cloth. Don't apply too much heat over your rib because there's elastic in the ribbing. And certainly if you're using one of our metallic ribs, if you apply too much heat to that, it will set stretched out. And once you've gone all the way around, got a nice edge. It's ready for taking back to your sewing machine to finish it off with a nice neat edge stitch. So again, starting at the seam, do a back stitch and do a really neat edge stitch, one or two mils max away from the seam on the sleeve fabric. The closer to the edge, the neater it looks, but you must take care not to wobble off into the ditch. And there you have your ribbing cuff attached nicely to your sleeve.